Well, good morning. I couldn't sleep last night. Um, so I put this State of the Union address thing on. I thought it might send me to sleep. Um, What's the pantomime, the circus, the the puppet show? And um, my God, was it interesting. <laughs> uh, I'll just go for the start of it. Well, you had Obama. He was using terminology which I found incredible. He was saying um, that college education should be free should be free that's all he said it should be free not that he's going to make it free or you know anything like that it's just it should be free but it's not and oh well I'm just going to laugh at you and say it should be free but you're going to have to pay for it anyway <laughs> god that was ridiculous uh, the next thing after that thing ended um, was just a big farce I mean he was saying to highlight the, the, the highlights um, that, that we've turned a page now and the economic situation is fine and that and it's like what? I mean the debt ceiling is just I don't even know I mean you have to invent new words for how much they're in debt as a country um, but then uh, when he finished the, they got this thing on I don't know what she is but isn't this creepy Um I mean, it's sort of like, well, let's go have a look at this. This is incredible, man. Where did they get here from? I don't know what planet. Good evening. I'm Joni Ernst. Hi, Joni. As a mother, a soldier, and a newly elected senator from the great state of Iowa, I am... <laughs> right, let me just stop you there. As a soldier, she's never been on a fucking battlefield. Everything is wrong with this. Good evening. My name is Senator Joni. I am from Pluto. I mean, everything's wrong with this. Her hair's fake. The background is green screen. It's all... It's all appalling, man. It's just really bad. And just the way that she's talking to you like you're a baby or something. Like you're a child. And like... Or, or like... A, um, like the... You know, like... Um, uh, a head teacher when they do assembly. You know, like... That kind of thing. Proud to speak with you tonight. With a smiley, a cringy ago, smile. It goes on and on, and she never stops smiling. It's f so creepy. Even if we may not always agree, it's important to hear different points of view in this great country. We I mean, it's, it's so bad because she starts talking about economic hardships and how everything's like all the bad things in life, which are all fucking fake anyway. They've just made them up. Or, or actually the real, and they've created them in the first place, you know, this kind of stuff. But she's meant to be talking about all these hardships in life, and with a fucking smile on her face. With that cre creepy smile. I mean, come on, man, this is appalling. Hate the president sharing his. Tonight, though, rather than respond to a speech, I'd like to talk about your priorities. I'd like to have a conversation about the new Republican Congress you just elected. And how Suck we plan to make Washington focus on your concerns again. By ignoring you. The message you sent in November, loud and clear. And we put it in the and bin. We're getting to work to change the direction Washington has been taking our country. To make it worse. The new Republican Congress also understands. The new Republican Empire of the world and the universe. Stands how difficult these past six years have been. For many of us, Not for them. <laughs> the sting of the economy and the frustration with Washington's dysfunction. Well, you want to wash your mouth out and say it properly, darling. Things we had to read about. We felt them every day. No, you didn't. We felt them in Red Oak, the little town in southwestern Iowa where I grew up. Oh, this is a total story of bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. She makes up this entire fucking waffle made up fantasy and she's saying that it's her it's not it's just fucking not so proud to call home check it today. out as I'll... a young girl i plowed the fields of our family farm no he didn't i worked construction with my dad to save for college i worked the morning biscuit line at hardy's biscuit line we were nope. raised to live simply not to waste it was a lesson my mother taught me every rainy morning. Bullshit. You see, growing up, I had only one good pair of shoes. What? So on rainy school days, my mom would slip plastic bread bags over them to keep them dry. Okay. But I was never embarrassed. 
Really? Because the school bus would be filled with rows and rows of young Iowans with bread bags slipped over their feet. Our is that that is sight of token acid or something? She got on the bus and everyone's got bread bags over the feet. The entire fucking bus has got a bread bag over the feet. What? This is pure. She's having a flashback or something. She's took the fucking acid, man. I don't even think that's human. No, nothing here is right. None of it. None of it. That's a green screen. That hair. That's a wig. Underneath that, I don't know what that creature is. It's not, it's not from here. It's not a human, that. <laughs> not have had much, but they worked hard for what they did have. These days, though, many families feel like they're working harder and harder with less and less to show for it. Not just in and I'm just gonna smile about that. <laughs> we see our neighbors agonize over stagnant wages and lost jobs. We see the hurt caused by canceled health care plans and higher monthly insurance bills. We see too many moms and dads put their own dreams on hold while growing more fearful about the kind of future they'll be able to leave to their children. Americans have been hurting, but when we demanded solutions too often, Washington responded with the same stale mindset that led to failed policies like Obamacare. It's a mindset that gave us political talking points. It's mind control, that's what it is. Anyway, that's enough for that jibber jabber. I don't even know what she's fucking talking about. It's all garbage, isn't it? Anyway, that 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 was the highlight of my night. We're staying up for to hear that bullshit. <laughs> Good night.